hello guys we are back with another video this time we are solving the or question under question number 13 which is a uh, sum on cash flow if you want to get notified for the new videos whenever they are dropped click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you want to join crash courses on accountancy do let me know in the comments box below without further ado let's get started we have the given details here where we have the share capital we have securities premium bank loan cash credit balance and statement of pl provision for tax trade payables and outstanding interest on debentures during the year the company issued bonus shares to the shareholders at the beginning of the year in the ratio of one is to four that is one bonus share for every four shares held by capitalizing the securities premium money that we have here one lakh sixty thousand purchased office equipment for 240000 payment made by issuing 20000 equity shares or rupees 10 each to the vendor and the balance in cash then we have 4000 as interim dividend interest on all the borrowings was 16000 out of which the amount paid was 12500 and the difference is 3500 which is there here mentioned Dividend of 15,000 proposed in the previous year, 21-22, was declared and paid and the company paid underwriting commission of 10,000. The first thing we have been asked to calculate, how many bonus shares have been issued by the company to the shareholders? Let's have a look here, come back to this point. The company issued bonus shares at the beginning of the year to the shareholders. We have 6 lakhs worth of shares at the beginning in the ratio one is to four that means one bonus share for every four shares held and these are shares of rupees 10 each so straight away number of shares at the beginning of the year right that is 60,000 six lakhs by 10 straight away number of bonus shares issued right four for every for every four share one bonus share right so number of bonus shares issued that is 60000 divided by 4 15000 bonus shares are issued that is the question how many bonus shares have been issued straight away we get 15,000 number two what is company's net profit before tax so let's do that calculation as well here okay let's write the heading calculation of net profit before tax net profit before tax first item that we have is statement balance in the statement of profit and loss account we have this item here let's write it down balance in the statement of profit and loss straight away the amount that we get here is 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 60,000 which is 40,000 that is the first item then to this we have to add a few items which are one by one we'll pick it up let's have a look we have provision for tax so the current year's provision gets added so let's write it down provision for tax current year that's 80,000 that is done trade people doesn't come outstanding interest doesn't come then we have further equity that will not be part we have 4,000 which is paid as interim dividend so interim dividend interim dividend of 4000 rupees 
that is also added and what else do we have dividend which was proposed in the previous year is paid in the current year so proposed dividend previous year proposed dividend in the brackets previous year that is 15,000 right so if you add all of these you get your net profit before tax which is 1 lakh 39,000 so number two is done as well what is the cash from operating activities what is the cash flow from financing and what are the what is the cash flow from investing activities so let's do it one by one and let's do them together so investing is point number five financing is point number four so we'll do some changes in the alignment as per the question we'll bring this entire thing up here okay so let's do it one by one we'll pick it up item by item and plot them wherever they are supposed to go like cash flow from operating net profit before tax we just now got it so one lakh thirty nine thousand the first item we have received let's pick up this item here share capital we have nine lakh fifty thousand it's an increase in value from six lakhs out of this if we see here fifteen thousand that means into ten one lakh fifty thousand worth are adjusted from the securities premium itself so there is no cash inflow for that okay however we have again your purchased office equipment to like 40,000 payment made by issuing 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each that means again here 20,000 into 10 2 lakh rupees there is no outflow of cash no nothing no cash flow is happening here because we are purchasing an equipment an asset is coming in and for that the shares are being issued however the balance amount which is 40,000 is paid in cash for the equipment there we have cash flow which is for the purchase of equipment that means that's an investing activity right so purchase of equipment right so this is the cash payment portion which is 40,000 right in the brackets you can show the calculation if you want 2 lakh 40,000 minus 2 lakh so this one is done now we we'll just keep a note of one point here that you have issued 1,50,000 worth of bonus shares as we discussed just now 15,000 bonus shares 1,50 so 10,000 are still remaining in securities premium reserve from this however in the current year we don't have any securities premium left this is an important part to check your understanding so 10,000 again have been written off look just like the previous sum we had 10,000 we have to find out where it's written off let's come to that if you see here paid underwriting commission of 10,000 right so this has been completely written off against securities premium reserve so nothing will be added to the adjustments here adjustments under non-cash non-operating items and extraordinary items to net profit for tax we will not add anything however this will come as an expense here under financing activities so paid underwriting commission or underwriting commission paid underwriting commission paid there's a negative 10,000 all right purchase of equipment is also a negative 40,000 
all right so we have completed this one we have completed the second one as well so our share capital adjustments we have completed securities premium as well we have completed coming to the bank loan there is an increase in the value of bank loan by 50000 which is again financing activity a further bank loan has been taken so proceeds from bank loan okay it's a new loan that has been taken bank loan which is 50000 the additional amount this is a positive figure as further loan has been taken same for cash credit this is a short term loan which also comes under financing activity so proceeds from cash credit or further cash credit further loan increase in the cash credit value proceeds from cash credit this is a positive 8000 that comes here as well balance in statement we have taken provision for tax we have taken trade payables there is an increase in the value of 5000 so if you go to operating activities we have an item called add right increase first one is decrease decrease in current assets and increase in current liabilities so under this we have increase in trade payables right trade payables so just one item which is an increment of 5000 that comes here we're just plotting it here for now outstanding interest on debentures this one is interesting 3500 have not been paid yet however when we debited in the profit and loss account we have debited entire 16000 you remember the accrual concept this is another very important part as as a part of this question paper to check students understanding and knowledge are you able to understand and pick this up in the exam so when you are adding here to this add adjustment for or simply adjustment for adjustment for non-cash and non-operating items under that you have to add there is no depreciation here add interest on borrowings all the borrowings together so interest on borrowings right so when you're adding it back you will add the entire 16,000 here because that is what has been debited in the statement of profit and loss However, when you're coming to your cash flow from financing activities, you haven't paid 3,500. There is no outflow for this amount. You have only paid 12,500. So here, interest on borrowings, you will write a negative figure of 12,500 only. All right. So this one is done as well. We are done with this one, this one. Paid interim dividend. This also comes as an outflow in financing activities. So interim dividend, 4,000. Again, a negative figure. Interest we have done. Proposed dividend will also come here because previous year's proposed dividend becomes current, current year's dividend paid so dividend paid all right 15000 another negative figure paid underwriting commission we have already done that all right so all these adjustments are taken into consideration 
so we can now calculate each of our items here net profit before tax add interest on borrowings if i add this i get 139000 plus 16000 which is 155000 this is cash from operations cash before operating profit before working capital changes operating profit before working capital changes and once we add this we get cash from operations we have been asked to calculate this before tax paid so this becomes our cash from operations or operating activities cash from operating activities before tax paid as mentioned in the question so this becomes our answer here for roman 3 okay let's have a look here cash from operating activities of the company before tax paid right now the second one the fourth one as per here is the financing activity let's do the calculation here we get 16500 as a positive figure so that becomes our cash flow from financing activities so this is the cash inflow the positive figure means inflow so cash inflow from financing activities one sixteen thousand five hundred for investing do we have anything we have a negative figure so minus forty thousand we have here so that becomes our cash outflow in investing activities or cash used in investing activities right in investing activities all right this one is done as well number six the board of directors of hydrogen limited proposed dividend of thirty thousand at the end of the current financial year state with reason the disclosure or the non-disclosure of this dividend proposed in the cash flow statement of the company for the year 22-23 now this is current year's dividend proposed as per the new guidelines of the companies act the current year's proposed dividend is shown as a contingent liability outside the balance sheet it is not taken into consideration in the cash flow statement of the current year all right so this will be shown as a proposed dividend as a contingent liability outside the balance sheet so this will be contingent liability this can be shown as a part of notes to accounts in most of the questions we have seen like that so proposed dividend for 2023 is 30,000 done we are covered with all the scenarios here and this is the entire solution there are areas where you have to understand and use your knowledge to be able to do it flawlessly thanks for watching guys do share this video with anyone who you think will benefit out of it we'll catch you all in the next one with another sum stay tuned till then